Tomahawk Speedway to me is like home. Everyone's your friend. There's always someone there helping you. The camaraderie, it's just amazing. It's just its own little family. Do they know what you've been through? That's the thing is, not many people did. Like, I would push myself out there and be normal. Like, I always strive to be normal. I went to lots of races when I was a kid, and actually being able to get in the car and race, I mean, I'd cry, like, the first time. It was just so cool. I'm proud that she's out there. Just the, the fact that she's out there and doing what she wants is just such a joy. With 18-year-old Gabrielle John, this is what people don't see. Days in the hospital, weeks of immobilizing muscle pain, her motor skills slowly deteriorating. From a rare progressive neurological disorder with no cure. There has been weeks that she physically cannot get out of bed. And that has never happened before. Pain is something that I deal with on a daily basis. I have back pain. My ankles hurt. My legs hurt. I missed at least 12 days of school because I literally could not get out of bed because I was in so much pain or I couldn't walk. Gabby's endured IVs and injections, spent two years with her legs in casts. She has a pump the size of a hockey puck implanted near her spine. It releases a dose of muscle relaxant that allows her to walk. What have the doctors said to you about what her condition is likely to become in a couple of years? Well, they're saying that she's probably going to end up in a wheelchair. What are you thinking about? Just how tough she is and how... You know, she doesn't deserve this. She doesn't deserve this. Gabby, do you ever have dreams in which you're fine? I don't dream I'm fine because I know I'm fine. Because I know that I'm okay with who I am. Gabby's wish is to meet her role model and favorite driver. All right, so we're looking for ticket 750. Gabby, you're not supposed to win. You drive a race car here. As she's called to the infield by the track owner, she has no idea what's in store. Hey, Gabby, I'm Danica, and uh, I heard that you're a really big race fan, and I wanted to invite you to Daytona for you and your family. I really, really hope you can make it. I'd love to meet you, and um, hopefully we'll see you soon. There you have it. Oh my god, I've actually been dreaming of this like forever. Danica has made me feel so happy and I kind of look up to her. Oh my god! <laughs> Racing was just one of the miracles I've always wanted to do because of my legs not being able to. Oh my god. Days later, Danica welcomes Gabby to Daytona International Speedway. Listening as Gabby shares her personal story. What is your ultimate dream? My ultimate dream yeah, was... What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm going to be a nurse. I want to be a nurse in pediatrics. I'm going to do that for a little bit. And, um, every kid that is probably like either in a wheelchair or something in that order that has a medical condition, they don't think they can do anything they want to. So, I mean, that well, was my way to race because I wanted to prove that I could. I'm proud of you. After Gabby and her family hit pit road, she's given a racing suit and a helmet, but doesn't know where she's being taken. I right just passed the side of that car. I can't get my leg in. Can you help me? Yep. Until she spots her newest friend behind the wheel. Hi. As far back in life as you can get. How are you? Are you excited? Good. Are you nervous? Uh, I'm excited, actually. Good. Thank you. 
Thanks. Where are you from, Gabrielle? Coming on the Johnson. All right. Welcome to Daytona. As you know, you drive over there. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kind of shaking. It's time for driver introductions. And Gabby joins Danica as she thanks her fans. Gabby's with Danica on the starting grid, wishing her luck. All right, America on three. One, two, three, America! Danica! Even when Danica's car can't finish, a true Danica fan knows there's still someone to root for. Danica's boyfriend, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And when he takes the checkered flag, Gabby joins Danica in Victory Lane to celebrate. I was watching the whole time with Danica. I was like, he's gonna do it. Oh, he's thank gonna you. He's gonna do it. Well, he brought us a little luck. You had a good day or what? <laughs> I know, right? I was like, he was going around the track and I was like, Ricky? It's kind of a storybook ending. He gets come to Victory Lane. 